everyone, Mike Stuchiner, Master Herbalist, here with Z Natural Foods, and today's topic of discussion is going to be on a fairly well-known topic and fairly well-discussed topic is about the need and the essential need, more more importantly, of quality fats in one's diet, and. I'm going to sort of talk a little bit about an off-subject topic in regards to uh, the nourishing fats that we take into our body because there's been a very interesting trend, and I, I hate to use the word trend, but that's what I'm calling it in this situation, uh, in regards to things I've seen that people like to do when it comes to substituting one fat for another thinking that they're actually making a better choice for themselves. So here's the thing. I'm going to make this as simple as I can. When you're talking about whether it's an animal or a plant-based product that is naturally uh, high in nourishing levels of fat, like for example, chia or coconut or eggs or grass-fed beef, things like that, um, <clears throat> it's always best that you keep those foods uh, in their whole version. You know, of course, uh, chia seeds are, could be an ex a slight exception to that rule, but for example, I'm going to use eggs as a great example of this. What we still have is this, what I would call an epidemic of fear of fat and cholesterol, when the science certainly is guiding us more and more to the opposite end of the uh, spectrum where cholesterol is not necessarily the culprit, culprit of some of the cardiovascular issues and neurological issues that we see today. As a matter of fact, it's quite the opposite. It's the lack of quality fat in one's diet that tends to be a greater influence on those end results. But here's the thing that I think we really need to focus on. So let's take the incredible edible egg. The egg itself is a wonderful, wholesome, nourishing food as a whole, okay? And the yolk is especially a nourishing portion of this food. And the reason why this food exists in the way it does in nature is because it's the perfect balance of your fats and your proteins all in one little shell or package, I guess you could say. Um, but what we tend to do, which I find to be very fascinating, is a lot of Americans tend to throw the yolk out and then cook their egg whites in coconut oil which to me kind of doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. If you're going to substitute one fat for another, you're really not doing yourself any great particular service by doing such a, such a deed. Here's why. Coconut as a whole food is extremely nourishing, and I am a fan of even coconut oil, but I want people to remember that coconut oil is not by definition a whole food. It's a part of a food that contains a nourishing, balancing amount of quality fats, but it's not a whole food, and it's not a perfectly balanced food. Let's just say, like, if you were to eat the whole coconut, for, or, you know, even like coconut milk powder or something of that nature, which is going to have a more well-rounded, wholesome, nourishing influence on the body. <clears throat> And what people, what, what, I've, what I continuously am still noticing when I talk to people or when I observe people in restaurants where I may be eating at that time, when they order eggs, it's always egg whites and it's, some, it's usually cooked in some type of a, a quality fat like olive oil or coconut oil. And again, what you're doing is, is that you're separating that perfect nourishing food and you're trying to substitute for something that's really not as wholesome as what that whole food provides you. So my advice to you, and I guess the, the way if we can sum up this video uh, with one piece of advice is, is that if nature has provided something to you in its wholesome form, especially in the form of something like grass-fed beef, eggs, chia seeds, whole coconuts, then that's how they should technically be eaten if you want to get the true nourishing benefits. You're actually, just as an FYI, you're really not doing yourself any great service by substituting, by taking something whole, separating the whole and making it into parts, and then adding something else back in that would have given that same nourishing effect, but nowhere near as, as close as to that same nourishing effect. Okay, because I want to remind you all, egg yolks are incredibly rich in 
B vitamins and lecithin and other nourishing factors that are really going to give your body what it needs to be able not just to survive, but to thrive. Okay, guys, so Mike Strachino, Master Herbalist, Z Natural Foods. I'll see you next time.